Well, and today we have our final installment featuring some of the highlights of the historical documentary, Black Panthers, Vanguards of the Revolution. Its viewer is Caroline Turner. The Black Panthers' efforts to end racism assured them news headlines. The internal rift over social programs versus revolutionary protests kept them under surveillance by the FBI and attracted more radical protesters. Those people who were on the other side of this issue politically did not see the Black Panther Party as a vehicle for social service. We saw it as a vehicle for political transformation, radical change, for revolution. There were many other white groups on the political left that claimed solidarity with the Black Panthers and supported their cause. You see Asians and Latinos supporting the Panthers. You see that there's a sign that says women's liberation. For much of the time that the Panthers existed, they were supported by a number of other groups um, that were working, you know, um, to change America. So the Panthers were not, for a, for a lot of their history, this kind of isolated group. We used to call uh, the Panther Party the vanguard of the movement because they were out in the forefront. They were kind of uh, uh, setting the pathway. Uh, the things that, uh, that we would face uh, some repression for, they would face it 10 times as, as great. They were uh, sacrificing their, oftentimes, their lives in the struggle. In these people, this class have divided themselves. They say, I'm black and I hate white people. I'm white and I hate black people. I'm Latin American and I hate hillbillies. I'm here, but I hate Indians. So we fight amongst each other. Fred Hampton here in Chicago was the main voice for racial unity. The Black Panther Party stood up and said that we don't care what anybody says. We don't think you fight fire with fire, best. We think you fight fire with water, best. We're going to fight racism, not with racism, but we're going to fight with solidarity. We worked with organizations such as the Young Lords, a Puerto Rican street gang that had become political, and the Young Patriots, hillbillies. Appalachian white boys. I want to introduce a man who's come over tonight from another part of town, but he's fighting for some of the same causes we're talk, uh, fighting for. Bob Lee, who was our uh, deputy field marshal, had a meeting with them, and he was explaining why we should work together. The coalition that Fred was building in Chicago represented the Latinos, the poor whites, and poor blacks, but also because he had been in the NAACP, he had linkages with folks who were in the congregations, or church folks, and with working class folks. So Fred was building a broad-based coalition in Chicago, and that was the threat. The Black Panthers newspaper documented their movement, and Emory Douglas's cartoons told their story. For me, there was only one reason to read the Panther newspaper, and that was to see Emory's illustrations. His paintings, his caricatures, his illustrations literally gave us the story. Black as you, black as me, black as us, black as free, black as me, black as me, black as us, black as free, black as us, black as me, black as us, black as free, black as free. The community will respond to the artwork because it was a reflection of them in the artwork itself. Because you're putting them on the stage as the characters and the heroes in the images. They could see their brother or they could see their uncle in the images. Through the breakfast programs, through the other programs that we had, health clinics, you, people come in and talk about how they can't pay their bills or they need child care. Emory was our social realism. He gave you a sense of bravery, resilience, courage, and most of all, beauty. That was what I loved about Emory. Black Panther Party membership reached a peak in 1970 with offices in 68 cities and thousands of members. After being criminalized by the FBI and media reports connecting it to crimes, support for the party declined. By 1980, the Black Panther Party had just 27 members. The history of the party remains controversial. Carolyn Turner, VOA News, Washington. Black is us.